G'day, it's Woody here and just behind me the doors are about to open on the National 4x4 show here in Brisbane. It is set to be one of the biggest events on the 4x4 calendar and there are vendors from all over the country showcasing here today. It starts today and it'll be going all through the weekends. We are going to be looking at all the light force on display. We got vendors from TJM, Opposite Lock, the Cormax 4x4 and of course our good friends from the Explore Life, the whole crew is down there as well. Make sure you come this weekend and say good day to the whole crew and we're going to be going around today and saying hi to everyone and showing you what the Brisbane show is all about. I'm standing here with our good friends the Explore Live and we're speaking with Matt and we're standing in front of one of the most beastie ram builds that I've ever seen. Uh, this thing is absolutely unreal, I bet you're loving it. Can you just give us a quick rundown on uh, what you're dealing with here? Yeah mate, uh, it was a big effort, so uh, most of the thanks has got to go to EC Off Road. The boys threw this together in about a four week time frame, which was absolutely crazy. But um, yeah, look, it's sort of the big brother for the 79. A lot of the uh, same products have gone into it. We've mixed it up with the GCI uh, Traytech canopy and it is absolutely insane. The kitchen setup they've got on this is nuts. Uh, the boys from Outback Kitters bar up on the front there and a lot of other their products throughout and then of course littered with light force spotty so we went for the amber look on this which I'm absolutely stoked with uh, we got a couple of new well we got five of the new Viper uh, light bars around the truck as well so mate yeah we couldn't be more stoked it looks absolutely insane and there's just lights everywhere and I know yeah. you're gonna absolutely love it especially when it's over in America yeah um, those amber lights absolutely go off over there um, I've noticed something really special going on with the 79 series as well what's going on there yeah mate a little bit wild not <clears throat> exactly sure how we come up with this but we've decided to give the 79 away for free so if you come down at the show uh, literally scan a QR code, you're in the draw, one free ticket, and then every item of merch you purchase is another ticket. So, pretty excited, just wanted to give back to all of our followers for supporting us uh, over the years. That's absolutely amazing. Make sure when you're down at the Brisbane 4x4 show, you come and say g'day to the team down here. I'm standing here with Sean from McCormack's Four Wheel Drive at the National 4x4 show in Brisbane. Sean, the stand is looking absolutely fantastic. You've got a lot going on here. Just tell us what we're running here at the show and what you're up to. Well, this, this year we've gone very different. So we've gone wagons and obviously behind us we've got the big green truck. Um, so basically um, we, we've hit it off with all our premium brands that we want to deal with and the only people that we want to be involved with. Um, and yeah, we've just done it very different. And last year, obviously if you come down and if you were here last year, you'd notice it's different. It's cleaner, it's, it's more new age and we're moving with the times. So. That's awesome, it's looking fantastic and the display vehicles, especially the green monster behind yeah. us, is absolutely off its head. Especially the light force lights, like we're looking at seven strikers absolutely littered in light force viper bars which are a new product as well. Just take us through what the selection process was and why you chose what you did. Oh look to be honest with you uh, we're all about Australian made where we can be and obviously light force manufacture a lot of their products in Australia which is a huge bonus for us. Uh, the lighting obviously is quality compared to most brands on the market and we're just through and through light force that's why we choose it. That's fantastic. It's an absolutely great selection. So if you're coming down to the National 4x4 show in Brisbane, make sure you stop by and talk to Sean and the team at McCormick's Four Wheel Drive. I'm here with Ruben in the main pavilion at the DMW booth and we're standing in front of his Jeep Gladiator and this thing looks absolutely insane. Ruben, can you just quickly take us through a quick hit list on what's been put on this Gladiator for the build? We've got the bar here, mate, and uh, we've got these awesome looking light force lights now the reason i went with the uh, light force lights is they're an australian made light and i've been running them for years and they're actually just bulletproof in my opinion uh, we've got the new dmw 13,000 pound winch okay we've nicknamed the car the ruben con <laughs> okay it's uh running the uh, dirty life wheels the mickey thompson tires three inch lifted Dobinson suspension and our trademark XTR tray canopy package on the back with our kitchen and um, all the rest of the jazz that we do. It's absolutely mint. We've got our um, DMW recovery stuff all around it. Uh, it's only half built. We've still got a lot of work to do to this car. Well, it looks absolutely fantastic. I really love the play on words, the Rubicon, because <laughs> um, it is a Jeep Rubicon Gladiator. Um, it looks fantastic. It looks brand new. I bet you haven't much, had much we, time to drive it. We haven't driven it at all. That's the that's the thing. Like it's, uh, I think it's got 30 k's on the clock. 
<laughs> well, brand spanking new. I'm sure that he's going to have a fantastic time, especially with not two, but three Lightforce Genesis driving lights. So that lighting is going to be absolutely unreal. I'm with Steve on the Pinnacle 4x4 booth at the National 4x4 show in Brisbane and there is heaps of light force on full display. We are standing in front of probably one of the main talk pieces of the month which is the next gen Ford Ranger. Steve, can you take us through quickly the build on the Ford Ranger, what's on it and why it's on there? Yeah, so we're running the Mitz Alloy um, train canopy package. Uh, we're obviously the Brisbane installer for those guys, and it's a fantastic product, so it was an easy decision to go with that on this build. Um, the Rhino Rack, lighting, um, off-road animal bull bar and a carbon winch. Um, GVM yet to come in this car, put a nice wide stance on it. It's just very typical of one of our builds, really. It looks absolutely fantastic, and one of the standouts is the amount of Lightforce lights that are on it. Yes. Can you just run us through what Lightforce products you selected and why you chose them for this build? Yeah, we've got a set of Genesis, a set of Venoms, and the um, dual row 40 inch light bar up the top there as well. So it just gives us a really good overall package. Uh, being able to choose the product we want to use at the time, depending on the circumstances, obviously we can turn it all on and light the thing up like daylight, or we can dial it back a little bit in those more urban setting so it's just a good um, you know choice option where we can use different lighting packages in different circumstances yeah that's awesome it's great to see the light force suite of products being used in such a versatile way with the whole range being able to complement a high quality build like this